what is wisdom i'll first give you the dictionary definition of wisdom and then we'll explore our definition based on scripture the dictionary defines wisdom as the quality of having experience knowledge and good judgment so the dictionary defines wisdom as the quality of having experience the quality of having knowledge and the quality of having good judgment it also refers to the ability to use your knowledge and experience to make good decisions and sound judgment the dictionary also says that wisdom is the ability to use the knowledge that you have and the experience that you have to make good decisions and sound judgment james chapter 3 please before i give you the kingdom definition of wisdom which is an addition to these that we already have james chapter 3 and verse 13 the bible lets us know that there are principally four kinds of wisdom there are four kinds of wisdom that the bible identifies now um maybe psychology or some sort of some field of philosophy may come up with different angles but we are teaching and the reference of our teaching and spiritual communication is scripture are we together now so this is by no means an attempt to to downplay the intelligence of those who are authorities in the area of philosophy but you need to understand that the basis of our communication is scripture and so every truth that we bring is derived from the authority of scripture it says who is a wise man and endued with knowledge among you let him show out of a good conversation his works with meekness of wisdom right 14 it says but if ye have bitter envies and strife in your heart glory not and lie not against the truth verse 15 it says there is this wisdom that descended not this wisdom descended not from above so there is a wisdom that does not come from above but is earthly number one that is the first kind of wisdom that the bible officially identifies there is earthly wisdom number two there is sensual wisdom i'll explain that in a moment number three there is devilish wisdom there is earthly wisdom sensual wisdom devilish wisdom next verse and then it says for where envy and strife is there is confusion and every evil work 17 but then the last kind of wisdom the bible says is the wisdom that is from above there is earthly wisdom sensual wisdom devilish or demoniacal wisdom and then there is wisdom that comes from above please write this down what is earthly wisdom earthly wisdom talks of natural wisdom what you call common sense the the inherent ability to recognize right or wrong earthly wisdom talks of natural wisdom common sense that sense of intuitiveness the ability to recognize right or wrong instinctively that is natural wisdom or earthly wisdom number two there is sensual wisdom this has to do with your faculties of perception this is scientific wisdom this is philosophical wisdom wisdom that has come through studies wisdom that has come through experiments this is the second level of wisdom it's called sensual wisdom scientific philosophical wisdom that comes through studies wisdom that comes through experiments and then number three we have devilish or demonic wisdom what is that a sense of superior judgment that is outsourced from your fraternity with demon spirits there 
can be a sense of superior judgment a sense of judgment that is higher than the natural man's own but the, that it was outsourced through your fraternity with demon spirits the kind of wisdom that comes through your alliance your fraternity and your covenant with demon spirits and then the bible tells us finally that we have the manifestation of wisdom that comes from above what is that godly wisdom supernatural wisdom the wisdom that comes as an impartation by the spirit of wisdom godly wisdom supernatural wisdom is God helping us? Mm. Let's define wisdom now from a kingdom perspective. Please write this down. Number one, wisdom is defined as the accurate application of knowledge. The accurate application of knowledge the accurate application of knowledge now that you know these things happy are you if you do them the accurate application of knowledge or information number two wisdom is the supernatural ability listen carefully the supernatural ability to use the written or inspired word of god to make accurate decisions and provide solutions to life's problems i will take it again just be patient the supernatural ability to use the written both the written and inspired word of god to make accurate decisions and to provide solutions to life's problems this is called wisdom it is a supernatural ability the faculty the fortitude the ability to take advantage of the truths found in the written word and the inspired word that comes through the spirit that it helps you to make accurate decisions and then by it you provide supernatural solutions to life's problems this is called wisdom wisdom is related to advancement wisdom is related to wealth wisdom is related to exploits this is very important the bible lets us know that a man can be alive and yet lack wisdom that means the same way a doctor can diagnose a patient and say you have deficiency of calcium you are alive you are not dead you are still alive but there is deficiency of calcium deficiency of magnesium and that component is in a drug or some kind of treatment given to you and as you swallow those pills you are taking into your system the magnesium or the calcium that you do not have it can come in form of food it can come in form of a pill but whilst you take it you are aware that the calcium that i lack i'm now taking it in and usually they would give you a few indices that can help you know that that which you did not have has now arrived listen carefully you can actually look at your life as a report card and you can know whether or not there is the presence of wisdom and if you find out that there is the absence of wisdom the bible also leaves us with a strategy to transport wisdom from wherever it is into your life now this is powerful but you have to admit that men can lack wisdom james chapter 1 and verse 5 We'll go back we'll go back to that scripture but just to let you know from scripture it says if any of you lack wisdom just stop there forget about what you do later on but that there is a possibility that a man can walk on earth a man of god can lack wisdom a businessman can lack wisdom a politician can lack wisdom it has nothing to do with being good or bad the same way a car as wonderful as that car is it can lack fuel when the car does not have the gas that moves it forward it remains at that position everyone say wisdom 
so wisdom is the supernatural ability to take advantage of the truth from god's word both written and inspired and they now guide you to make excellent decisions in life and by the principles you are able to come up with supernatural solutions that attend to the needs first your need and then the need of those around you that any man who is able to attain this state is considered from scripture to carry the spirit of wisdom may that be your testimony tonight in the name of jesus christ hallelujah so we understand that as a result of redemption one of the sevenfold prophetic reality the blessings that have been given to the saints in christ one of them is wisdom and that more than just a gift of wisdom more than just the word of wisdom there is the manifestation of the spirit of wisdom